We are keeping it local this morning and taking you to Dade City, one of my favorite uh, local uh, downtown spots. And this is interesting. I don't even think I realize this. Dade City Brew House, the first and only brew house in the area. I don't know if uh, there's going to be more to come. I would certainly think that. But Megan joining us now to tell us all about it. So good to have you on the show, Megan. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. So I did not realize that Dade City really didn't have, how long have you guys been open? We've only been open less than four months. We opened on March 27th for the Kumquat Festival. Wow. So we so are still I new to the realize, area. I mean, it is truly something unique and special uh, what you guys are doing there. So take us, it looks beautiful behind you. Tell us a little bit about the brew house. Thanks. This actually, uh, we're standing in an old car dealership. And so we have transformed it, literally built walls and there's just some original brick. The white brick behind me is original from the car dealership. This was the showroom. And uh, we have literally built uh, an entire brewery behind me uh, where we have a fantastic brewer that's in here all the time making delicious beer. And then we have a tap room set up for about 150 people or so with front and back patio space garage doors so when it's beautiful outside we can open the window open the doors and get nice cross breeze and we have live entertainment in here it's fantastic so and and it was funny when there was that wide shot the picture of the inside the brew house i saw a food truck outside mm -hmm. out there as well so that's nice too right having different food trucks come in we have some food trucks locally that come in uh we have all different kinds uh i have a you know we get pizza trucks we get seafood trucks we've got a barbecue truck that comes to us from ocala uh so it's great and we try to offer different varieties of food uh there's a mexican place down the street that people love to bring in as well so you know we're not just you know we we don't have food but yeah. we support local businesses and if you want to bring in your own that's totally fine with us I love that. All right, but it is about the brews. Tell us it what is. you guys are brewing there. What's popular? How many different brews? Give us the kind of the lowdown. We have 14 beers on tap right now. We just put on our new sour, which our brewer did with a collaboration with Bamari up in Asheville, North Carolina. It's delicious. It kind of tastes like a fruit punch that uh, we've had some customers say is a little bit too good. It goes <laughs> down a little bit too easy. It's kind of like a grape milkshake, but there's no grape. It's like blackberry, tangerine, vanilla and marshmallow, it's delicious. Uh, so we also do some beers with local farmers, our kumquat beer. You can't be in Dade City without having a kumquat beer, which was one of our original beers. And we got yeah. the kumquats from the local kumquat growers just down the street. And then we have a blueberry uh, vanilla sour, and that is also locally sourced. One of the farmers came in locally and said, hey, we have a bunch of blueberries. So we're working with them to get our fruit from them as well. So we're trying to keep it all local trying to support our local businesses around here. Um, and then local businesses have actually taken our beers and made them into desserts and soaps. So it's all kind of full circle. Yes, I love that. Hey, brag on Dade City a little bit because I do think it's still a little bit of a hidden gem um, for people who have not been out there. And uh, as we were mentioning, it's not you know the Dade City that it was 10, 15 years ago. The growth is really exciting right now. It's super exciting. Uh, just from the short time that I've been around Dade City, like you can see the new restaurants coming in, new stores popping up. There's a bunch of antique shops. Anyone who likes antiques, there's a little pastries and little bakeries, and they're so great. And we're trying to, with the brew house, make this a more walkable city. So you can come here, hang out, grab a beer or two. There's a restaurant going in next door. Uh, you know, there's an event center. There's, all, like I mentioned earlier, all different restaurants. So we're trying to make this a more fun, walkable town, kind of like some places up in North Carolina or Tennessee. So, you know, just go and hang out. You don't need to drive anywhere. We'll make it all walking for you. Oh, well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Congratulations on uh, a, a successful first couple of months. We're, we'll check back in later to see how things are going. And again, I think this is going to be the first of many. I don't think you guys are going to be the only one uh, for long. <laughs> no, and you know what? And we welcome other breweries, you know, yeah. you know, we, we want other people to experience brewery life and it's amazing and it's so much fun. And, you know, we're family friendly and dog friendly. So we're just kind of like a chill environment where people can come and hang out and play cards or games or cornhole and have a good time. And support with their family. local. I love it. Exactly. I love it. Well, DadeCityBrewHouse.com, exactly. that's the website. I know you guys are on social media too, but uh, thanks so much, Meg. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having us on. Appreciate it. All right. Take care. And we'll, of course, put more details on our website as well.